What's up? It's MGC Mel and I'm here with Hustle Holly. Here to tell you where the hustle start. Back to the block, I'm running. Face shot gang, let's get in the sun. Back in the day, me and Steve, we were bumming. We ain't had enough, but we turned to something. What's up, Mel? It's a pleasure to have you come through. I mean, just to start off, let us know a little bit about yourself and where did the hustle start? Man, what up, man? My name is MDC Mellow, man. I'm from Chicago, but she and my OG moved me to Mississippi. She, I resigned in the, in the bricks, man. Biloxi, man. West Side. Man, y'all know what the fuck going on. All right. I mean, and you said you from Chicago? Hell yeah. Okay. How long, how long were you there? Like, how much of your childhood did you spend there? Shit, from birth to like eight, or well, not seven, I'm going on eight. Yeah. Do you remember how was the neighborhood of growing up there? We. Yeah, yeah. Know? It was uh for me, shit. I ain't gonna say. For me, it was straight because I could run around and play. Mm -hmm. But shit, when it become nighttime, I gotta walk with my OG to that bus stop to get real trenches, you know. Yeah. The boys yeah. come out. Okay, and then so you came to the Gulf Coast at eight or seven? First, yeah, we went by. Shit, I ain't gonna start. We went by people's house. Shit, that shit was Memphis, I believe. Memphis. And then, shit, we came here and then I had my eighth birthday party. You feel me? Yeah. So, a little bit of, of moving and then you made it to the Gulf Coast. So, have you been here in Biloxi since? How old? Shit, 13. 13. Because I was in Billfoot from second grade to fifth grade. Then okay. Biloxi, sixth grade. Okay. Was the neighborhood any different here from Chicago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There wasn't too much death or too much going on. Yeah. Be outside all day without your own big house. So pretty, pretty much. I mean, you spent most of your adolescence, your teenage years here on the coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you still connect with your people back in Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went up there when I was, shit, in 2020. Okay. I left there for, I got stuck up there, which I put up there for like two weeks. I ended up being up there for like four months. Damn. That's a big difference. That's Probably a big difference. Probably a little bit more than four months. Because when yeah. I was up there, my mama had my little sister, so. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, when you when you came down here, were you into any sports or anything like that, or you? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, I started playing football in Chicago, shit. Then I came down here playing football. Shit, I started playing football until eighth grade. Eighth grade. How long you been into music, though? I've been telling my mama, like, since I was up north. I've been telling her since it did. I want to be a, uh, I want to be a rapper. Then I started making music, though. Around, like, eight, nine. Yeah. I say nine, I ain't gonna say eight. No. So, I mean, did you make your first song when you was eight? Or was it like, you writing on paper, coming yeah, over yeah. rhymes? Yeah, I ain't gonna okay. lie to you. Everything, making all that shit off phone. That's when Chief Keef was coming out, that was when Chief Keef and Delta Boy started. Me and my homie put all into that shit. Yeah. So would you say, you know, that that kind of music got you involved, or what would you say inspired you to do music? Salsa. <laughs> Salsa, for real. Because, hey, boy, it's just somebody you got to, it, it, it turned me up right then and now. Okay. And so that's what got you into it. You said so so. So so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what? Any? Would you say that that's a hundred percent what inspired you to be in the music game? Nothing else. Mm. Shit, you know what I'm saying like I knew how to do that shit. Then seeing the other kids in the hood liking that shit. Yeah. yeah. What you was freestyling with your friends and stuff, or? Nah, me and my homeboy really sit down and try to write that shit. Okay. I'd be in class, like, third grade to teach that ass what I'm doing. I say, write a song. Write a song. You for real? Yeah. Would you say that you, uh, 
you write most of your music or some some of it come off the dome? Shit, when I started really getting active with that shit, learning how to use that shit, I was I get up the song just freestyle some shit, punch in, but then around shit, 10th grade, ninth grade, I was I started writing and I got more professional with that shit. Yeah. What inspires you? Like what gets you sparked up when you're in a studio session? To make it, you know. To make a song. Yeah, to make a song. What gets me sparked up? It just gotta be my mood, shit, to real. How I feel or shit. I just gotta go and yeah, I just love making music, you know? And would you say, you know, what would your vibe be like in the studio session? Are you you more hype, you more focused? How, how does that go? Give me a little uh, bit more insight on studio, that. I got to be all over the place. Yeah. For real, I got to, first time. Like you said, I got to get my mood right. Like I, like I told you, I got to get my mood right, so shit. First, I got to be all over the place. This shit, smoke, come down, get in that zone. You know, tell the motherfuckers to get in their head, then we get right. Mm -hmm. Do you take any advice from people, you know, when you're in the studio session, or you just? I take I take in as much advice as I can, and I, yeah. as much as I can give out, for real. I like that. I like that. everybody can help. Yeah. I mean, and are you... Are you independent? You, you, you signed and a management, anything like I'm that? I'm independent, but I'm rocking with a really decent, decent independent uh, management. You know, hustle holly for myself. Yeah, for sure. Shout out, shout out to them for sure. For sure. And what would you say is your best top four songs out right now? Oh shit! <laughs> four. <laughs> give give Damn. me four. Oh, oh nice, and I gotta put it. Uh, Oh, um, damn, I say, uh, with the game, phone now, uh, in the name of T.R.A., I did shit, going with another one, ooh, well, that's something, ooh, uh, you got quite a few, I mean, Real few, bro, because it's too many. I get too many compliments, and I, I really don't forget. I got so much music. I forgot the name, too. It's a lot of them, so I'm going to have to say FML. Oh, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Everybody is into that. Yeah, I'm going to have to say that. That remix. Yeah. Like, the first three for sure. I'm real OG. Which Man. one of those would you say um, you put the most thought into? The most work? With the game. Cause I, I felt some type of way that day, boy. Cause from my life, I was in Chicago and shit. I was like, man, I'm gonna make a song. My T team in the crib, my cousins, they just dropped off in college. Bro at work, I'm like, I'm gonna be by myself. I'm gonna make a song. Make some up. Get in the closet with my little iPhone headphones. I go in that bitch. Bitch on with the gang. Bitch on, bitch on with the gang. I felt that shit. Yeah. Make some up. I'm on that. I'm broke. I dropped that bitch while I was up there. They, oh yeah, we with this. Keep keep it going. Yeah, but then yes, it's then. Well, I'm pushing that shit. Personally, my favorite. <laughs> I, I, I love that song. So, yeah, um, I mean, when you plan on having some visuals come out with that? Uh, I, I, me personally, I feel like it's too late. But, cause my, you know, it's not my voice ain't gonna add up my shape. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go in there. I redo the song for sure. I just got to put on the beat. Okay. So everybody need to be looking out for that. If oh, you yeah. ain't heard it, with the game, by Melo, two times. Go listen to this. Great right song. Now. Great song. And you hearing that from me? <laughs> I mean, and where uh, where did your what would you say your artist name came from? How did you come up with? It? Shit, as you know, okay. shit, MGC, that's the click, man. Mello, I don't know, man, how that, how that shit came along, shit. I say, I'm a mellow ass nigga, so fuck it. That's me. You feel me? I'm just mellow, been there two times. Brother went there for too hot. I'm a little too hot, man. Happy birthday to you, Sean. You know how we come in, man. <laughs> shit, uh, so I'm mellow two times. MGC, mellow two times. I like that. Uh, MGC, that's, uh, Yeah, that's it.
and do you have any new projects out now or any new songs? Anything you recently just did? You Back to the block and then okay. Fucked Up in the Head. Two singles just dropped with the visuals and audio. It's out on everything right now. Well, I ain't gonna say everything, but it's out on SoundCloud, Apple, and, uh, YouTube, you know. So shit. Look, be looking towards them. Go look at them. them they jump right now. For sure. Yeah. Me dogs put in love. And, uh, I mean, anything that your fans can be expecting from you. Like, uh, what do you expect to bring to the game, the music game? Shit, a lot, man. They need to be expecting so much. Like, I'd be out the way, so. It gonna be some shit they ain't gonna expect you feel me when I do drop. Yeah. So shit is they can't expect nothing but to turn up for real. Um, what would you say the the music game is missing right now? What you think you can add to it or bring to it? Man, me? For real. To explain that thing, explain. I'm just, just to tell. I just want to know, like, what you mean? What you, what you mean? You, you mean your tone, your vibe? You know. I mean, it's not enough of me. They ain't gotta be so. They need. They gotta be me. Cause oh, I'm too out this year. For real. What you think different from you and, and any other artist? I feel like my vibe right is different than how I come as a person, you feel me? You know, nobody can come like me than my loyalty at the end of the day. You know, my respect and how I come as a black gentleman, you feel me? Would you relate your music to any any other artist? Or would you say your shit just original? I heard somebody tell me I sound like we loved it. Somebody said Polo G. Somebody said Vaughn. Shit. That's probably the only three, but shit. I feel like I got my own flow to this shit. Cause motherfucker tell me they ain't heard nobody. My shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how would you, if, if, if you was talking to somebody who has not heard any of the music that you done put out, how would you describe your music? Uh, shit, explicit. That's okay. how I tell them first, but then I tell them, like, you know, okay. don't take it too, don't take it too much to the heart, because that's just, that's just how it is. That just be how I feel, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how I be feeling, so I express my feelings on that mic. You gotta take it how you take it. You got any purpose behind the songs you make? Like, you know, is it to target a certain group, or is it to have a certain group relate to you or most of that shit is just coming from, from the heart. Yeah, some of it be from the heart, then some of it be stories, you know? Just shit that be coming to the head, I be coming up with shit. Is it anybody that inspire you in the industry already? Any artists you looking up to? Right now? Lil Socket, cause he was city artist, he going crazy right now. Lil Socket, then I say, uh, yeah, who else? Uh, shit, that nigga, Z Nookie, I think, something like that. It's a, he, he has another nigga, but he hard, he be uh, fuck with me too. And then, one K, y'all know that for sure. Everybody else, you guys. Anybody you see yourself working with, you know, like you, you already know you can make a five track with, whether uh, they mainstream, local, whatever, like any, any artists out there you, you looking to work with soon? Oh uh, yeah, man, you know, the biggest man, free on Tiz, for sure. Tiz, I'm waiting to do something with bro, cause I don't know if me and bro go put something out there. Yeah. I'm crazy. Okay, okay. Then, Tragic, I'm, I'm thinking this. Local right now. Tragic and shit. J1K. 
It can't do that one K no. This shit, who I, I think I can uh if I hop on some shit with dirt, I blow this shit for real. <laughs> dirt, shit, uh Dirt yo. Shit, the DCG brothers, I fuck with them hard because them are people for so sure, but uh I don't know. Then I say that's about it for so. sure. I mean, you brought up dirt, so I'm just, I'm acting because this question came up early. He got some new shit that's, you know, finna drop or whatever. Um, I mean, would you say he he better than the people they're trying to compare him uh, to? Man, that's... Oh, is that tough? Oh, oh boy. Is, is he better than I'll them be boys? Better, he, 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 I ain't saying nobody's better than <laughs> them boys. Them boys just, them boys grind it. Okay. You feel me? It's, it ain't even who better. It's the, the, just how the, how the people feel when they when they hear. When they hear. Yeah. Uh, when, it ain't even got to be no competition. That's just how the world put it. Put it. You feel me? Right. See, I like that. My young boy, he ain't even, he ain't never even been at the BT Awards. Yeah. That's something big for change. You feel me? But he is a big artist. He's a big artist. So. Yeah. I don't know. He, he's not in the competition there. Would you say that? Because in, in, in my opinion, he is he own, just doing his own he thing? His thing. That's all okay, he, okay. That's all I'm saying. He's not even okay. in the competition. It's just right. two different one. lanes. Two, two different type of lanes. Oh, bro, they, I they don't can't, respect that. They don't, they don't claim him as one of them. I can't, and, uh, I can't uh, you know, from that side of the industry, I feel like, you feel me? So, that is how I feel. Any, um, personal goals you set for yourself, whether it's, it's, if it's on your music journey or doing something different, what kind of goals do you, you feel like, you know, you manifest every day for yourself? Uh, to push out, like, better music. Uh, catch people's hearts, you feel me? Or catch the catch their ear, or uh, just to grind hard enough to get it to get where I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Wake up every day, be thankful to breathe, you know. So I be just sitting back trying to grind. You gotta grind. So ah okay. uh, shit. So I really been trying to build my following, my views. All that because you know I went through a little disabled uh, deactivation on my Instagram, so I had to double back with that. Everything ain't coming how it's supposed to come, so I've been grinding a little hard, so I'm pushing, motivating myself, even with the motivation from people help. Yeah. And if you wasn't into music, what would you, what other skill you think you'd be doing? Football. Right now, I football or basketball. Okay. What position you playing in, in football? Shit, I started off shit. As a kid, I started off top notch running back on the west side of Chicago. Uh -huh. Real young nigga, uh, Wing City Dolphins. I was a real young nigga, number thirty five, so crazy. And then I shit. I fuck around, moved to Alabama, started playing football down there for a little bit. Then came to the coast. Then that's when I got to playing with the Warriors. I was playing football with them. We was going crazy. From then I stopped playing with pass road. When I went to Biloxi and shit, I just wanted feeling. You feel me? I wanted feeling the vibe from the coaches and shit. Yeah. So I just stopped. For real, I, I stopped playing football. I was a basketball. Yeah. From now, basketball is my journey. Yeah. Basketball was your what? The journey. The journey? Yeah. Uh, so, so you saying you do five? Yeah. Okay. All right. It was like that, but like, court, but huh? too much. I don't need <laughs> in basketball though. From I say from seventh eighth grade, that's when you go see me in the game for real. Cause when it came to ninth grade. Ninth grade, I ain't play ninth grade, yeah. But I was at every practice or something like that. You said that. Then 10th grade, I think I played some ball. 
I played a couple, I probably like two games, but one, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know. I went, I went showing up to practice and shit. Coach, coach, they went fuck with me. They seen I was falling off and shit. And if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Superpower. Any superpower, what would it be? Shit, yeah, pretty much. That was something that, like, what would, what would, what would <laughs> yours be? No. What would yours be? Because I don't know. Me, I think it like teleport, teleportation. Like to teleport. Get out okay. there, jam. Okay. You asked me, um, I think mine would be the reverse time. Oh, I didn't think about that. I yeah. can reverse time. Reverse time, just in case I fuck up. For anybody, any time, any place. Yeah, yeah, reverse yeah. time. Right. What about? That's what I would be. I didn't even think of that one. I mean, what, you got another one I gave you. Mine, you said the teleport. Is you sticking with that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm sticking with my teleportation. Yeah. What? I ain't gonna say the invisibility because that ain't even too much to rely on. Well, Sorry. it depends. Teleportation. Get out that jail for real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, tell me a little bit about what's some of the stuff that keep you consistent on your music journey? Whether if it, you know, you dropped a lot of music and it's just been consistent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, are you just. What, you just being a vibe? What keep you consistent during that time frame? Me knowing I know how to do that shit. That dinner. Motherfuckers be making me mad and shit. So I just be having to go down. Like, if I don't talk to nobody, tell them how I feel. So I talk to the mic, you feel me? The mic ain't gonna say nothing back. You feel me? You could just take anything I say and run with it. Right. So I just talk to the mic, and, uh, you know, do what I gotta do, get in my head. Are you coming yeah. up with hooks first, like? First, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I like, I write the, I write the first, first chord, go, then go on with the first verse, and then write the second uh, hook. Then I stop right there, and then I. Really punch in on the second verse. Okay. Then finish the song off. You feel me? Just like that. But half of the song will be written. And then I, I have to finish that shit mm-hmm. with what I got. How long did it take you to finish a song, you would typically say? Man, sometimes. If it's already written and I've been going over that shit, it's gonna take me 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes. I, I, like motherfuckers I seen probably like four of them motherfuckers for real. Okay. And if I really just been going over them motherfuckers and I want to get it done, I'm a, oh yeah, we just gonna lay this bitch down. And then if I if I ain't and I still gotta write a little bit, might write a little bit as we go. We're gonna take I get thirty on them. Probably. Do you remember the first song you wrote? No, I mean, cause everybody yeah, has some yeah, things that you go, gotta go freestyle uh, around people. You, you have some. The first song, the bag. I, I ain't gonna have my first song, but I don't remember if it was written down though. Okay. It We're saying was. first thing you it you know like, remember. That bitch was called enemies or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That bitch was probably like I know I deleted that bitch off of uh, YouTube. It was like okay. mm, it was some like fire. You know? You you are the first song that you put out was five years like ago. First video that I video dropped that by dropped. myself. Uh huh. Yeah. It was five years ago. Okay. Do you, you remember how old you are? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And what would you say the best advice you've been given? The best advice that somebody has given you. Uh. Said, best advice is don't give up and keep going. No matter how how hard it gets, you feel me? You feel me? And once another door closed, another one go open. You gotta be straight. Right. 
and I mean, with what would you, what kind of advice would you give somebody that is trying to make it at least almost to where you at? Like you know, as far as being confident enough to put out your music and stay shit. consistent. What I always tell them, nigga, I tell them, nigga, shit. Look at me, bro. I started in the motherfucking closet, nigga. With a motherfucking iPhone 6 and some old ass headphones. And I just kept going. I ain't gonna fuck with nobody was talking about. I kept going. And it, whoever told me my shit was busting, I was happy for me. You feel me? I love the positivity, so I kept going. Mm -hmm. Keep keep going too. And I always tell them, fuck, if you need the help, I can help. For real. What would you say is the the biggest thing that has happened on your journey so far? Shit, running to uh, running to the gritty, man. Running to hustle holler for real, cause that turned me up for sure. Cause, I mean, I was trying to myself up with, you know, seeing seeing the other motherfuckers believe me and shit. That turned me up on this, man. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm willing to provide the help, see, yeah. you know. That was something different though, cause I ain't never had it. Mm -hmm. It's something just I always seen. So y'all can't even be a little different with this shit. I mean, and talk a little bit more about that since you since you saying that. Like, what I mean, do you think that's something that a, a lot of artists, you know, need in order to see you? Kind of need that that great team behind you, yeah, keeping yeah. you if it's focused or on the ground, yeah. right? It's, it's, it's even more than that shit. I'll be willing to talk to motherfuckers help. You feel me? Like, it, you know, motherfuckers just gotta sit down and see for themselves. But it's, it's real raw. Like, the everything y'all doing, y'all got it down pay. Y'all have it. Y'all help me professional. Like, get more professional with this shit. Like, I end up getting out the way, staying out the way. You feel me? Y'all talk to me. <laughs> to, 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 to my head and then shit, you know, I just stuck with it and I ran with it. Yeah. Shit. I respect that. I respect that. Because a lot of people can't, you know, learn on journey. So that's big. That's big. What would you say overall in life, whether it, if it has something to do with music or just everyday life obstacles, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned? Like, example, um, my biggest lesson is don't take anything for granted. Yeah, so, I was, that's all I was going to say, but that, don't take nothing for granted. You can't, okay. like, motherfucker, like, if you, I can't bring that up, but yeah. don't take nobody for granted. Don't take nothing for granted. Anything can happen at any time. Yeah. You don't know. Cause I mean we 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 learn a, a, a lot on our journey, so um, definitely understand exactly where you're coming from. Do you see yourself doing anything other than music? You know, now since you having music star, like example, you into like oh uh, yeah, I love backdoor acting a little bit. You know? Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. I was just have to think about putting something out there, you know. Okay. To get a feeling of something else, you know, to get another, uh, probably run into something else I'm doing, like you can. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. You don't know until you try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and see, before I, I knew you was into shooting videos and putting them together, so do you think you got an a eye? You know, behind the scenes, I. Oh yeah, I'm definitely. I could definitely direct uh, some shit, or write some shit, put it yeah. together. I got a, uh, I got some real good thoughts. I be uh, thinking about a lot of shit. Like, like I said, I be in my notes type of shit. For real, like coming up with shit that I uh, put together for like a little skit or uh, short film. But I just ain't had no more for the really. And put that shit together until yeah. I run to y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everybody gonna look out for Melo directing some skits and my, my and eventually turn into some episodes and movies. You know, real, gotta take we got some kind of real, real dead shit, man. Yeah. 
And um, I mean, what's your most viewed track right now? What 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 do you think is getting the most attention that you have out? Uh, right now, definitely. Uh, shit, what I was gonna say. And yeah, I don't know, cause motherfuckers still be hitting me up about F and L, but shit, back to the block. I say that right now, motherfuckers uh, taking about that shit. They down up there some uh, after music or some other shit, mm -hmm. going crazy. I like that shit. I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of notifications about that. Put us on, put us on some people. Anybody we should have a, a aisle to listen to? Any any shout outs you want to get to anybody putting some work in? Uh, shit, I got a uh, shout out. You know, look, Chris, man, uh, Chris OK, uh, Baby One K, man, AKJ, everybody, uh, look tragic with Joe. I'm just showing respect to everybody, everybody. Yeah. Shout out to them. They put in that work. Grinding like I am. And I mean, we, we've been following behind you for a while with all of the tracks you've been having um, come out. So I'm wondering, do you see yourself getting into any of the genres of music or collabing with any of the artists that's with this country or R&B, you yeah, see yourself crossing about, over? Uh, I'm a uh, collaborator. Uh, I'm a singer, man. I don't know who yet, though. Like, if I'm some Anne-Marie type shit, I'd do somebody like okay. that. Okay, okay. Like what, you see them singing the hook type shit and... Hook with the verse, you feel hook me? Hook with the verse. Hook with the Explain that to me. What you mean when you say, oh, you and them. Okay. okay. All right, see, that's creative. That's creative. That's creative. You, um, I mean, what kind of music would you say you listen to other than yourself? I'll be listening to type of dress shit. You know what I'm saying? Double up. My pockets be trying to see me. I'll be listening to their little love song and shit. But yeah. I'll be hard with that shit, so. That shit, basically, mostly drill. That's how I'm. Yeah. Uh, my shit, y'all shit, anybody shit. That's true. Any tapes you working on and got coming up? Uh, like full projects where we can learn a little bit more about no, them. No, I can't talk about them just yet. Okay, okay. I got two two okay. projects I'm working on. Okay. No names, yeah, though. Make sure me and uh, me and the DB got two songs coming out here. Me and the way to DB, five and six, man. If you see it, man, go follow me on Instagram. Shout out to that boy. And I mean, that, that was all. That was all. It was, a, like I said, a pleasure to have you come through with us, learn a little bit about where the hustle started. We, so, we see you already. You ain't going to stop hustling. And I yeah. <laughs> so the let the people know. Where can they find you at? Where can they follow you? Y'all yeah, can follow me on only Instagram, MDC underscore Mellow Two Links, and MDC dot Mellow Two Links. The only two accounts I got. That's the only place I can catch me at, too. Oh, God. And Instagram, Sam, YouTube, up and stress, MDC Mellow. Subscribe to the topic and my homepage. And we out. We gone. Boom, boom.